Come inside me. I'm sorry. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, it was an accident. Bullshit! You did that on purpose. No, you were moving, and, and I just, you know. You torn raped me. What the hell is that? Life is so short and all oh, so sweet. Life in the sun is such a treat. Come rape? Is that a term people use? She made it up. I think the term is very insensitive. Fine, Gloria Steinem. Fertilization without consent. Hey, do we really got to talk about this? Oh, uh, you trying to force your sperm in me? Yeah, I think we should talk about that. I just, look, we haven't been having sex as much since you guys told us not to, and I just, I got overexcited. That's not exactly what we said, Johnny. Don't blame them, dude. Maybe he just suffered premature ejaculation. Or rapid ejaculation. At this point, more than a thousand climaxes have been withdrawn in time. Even when we're drunk off our asses, the man is careful. Not once has this happened. So you think he purposefully ejaculated inside you? Enough <laughs> with the ejaculation. It's like he's a wild animal trying to squirt his fluid and <sighs> trick me into getting nah. pregnant. Let's pause for a second. Johnny, look at Susie. Susie, look at Johnny. This again? This again. Now just tell her the truth. I didn't do that on purpose. Do you believe him? No. Why not? Because I know him. You don't trust me. I do. No, you don't. Fuck you. I trust you. Look, maybe I just blew a load on accident, and it's not a big deal. Seems clear from her body language that it's a big deal for her, whether or not you did it on purpose. Johnny, you'll never achieve intimacy without trust. Well, how the hell do I get that? By connecting with this beautiful woman who's sitting next to you. screwed in how long? A little over two months. Damn. That's unhealthy. I mean, come on. In a healthy relationship, you stood at least every week. Thanks, B. We hadn't thought of that. Well, what do you want me to say? You want me to tell you to look into each other's eyes, hold hands, and what, maybe chant? Because that's what I do with my patients? Cat, honey, tell me what's going on here. I don't know. Dig. Well, um, <clears throat> we sent Joshua off to college in August. Empty nest usually makes you hornier. At least initially. Sorry. Sorry. My wife is, uh, obviously looking for her pants. Anyway, so, back to the two of you. Any sexual attempts or overtures at least? We started to engage the other night, and uh, Joshua called. And she answered. I'm sorry. OK, so she picked up the phone. Big deal. She was worried. But after you hung up? He'd fallen asleep. You could have woken me up. You were so tired. We have been working so hard lately. Not a guy in existence gets mad he's woken up for sex. You see how things change with age? Work makes us tired. But it used to be a turn on, right? I guess. Didn't you tell me you got all steamed up working right next to him, watching him? You did? A long, long time ago. I didn't know that. Look, it's important that we keep surprising each other, right? I think this is just a phase, kids. I really don't think you need to stress about this. But I, no, I wouldn't ignore it either, okay? You were right. Go on. When I ejaculated in you, I, di I did that on purpose. I, I wasn't thinking. I, I just, I wanted to do it, so I did it. I, I wasn't thinking about you. And that's not the right way to start a baby. And I'm sorry. I'm still pissed at you, but thank you for being honest. Life 
Stop talking, it's distracting. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> 